Hey guys, welcome back to All By The Popcorn. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna be reviewing Dora and the Lost City of Gold. So Dora and the Lost City of Gold is ready PG. It's an action adventure and it's an hour and 42 minutes long. It's directed by James Bobin. Uh, set to release August the 9th. And it starts Isabella Monier. Pretty sure I'm saying her name wrong. Uh, Michael Peña, Eva Longoria, Jeff Wahlberg, Eugenio Derbez, and Dani Trejo as the voice of Boots the Monkey. So a lot of people do seem to be upset that Dora is a teenager and she didn't stay uh, as a six-year-old. I actually don't have a problem with it. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. My neighbors, I don't know what they're doing. I personally didn't mind her being a teenager just because of the journey that she was going through and the adventure that she was going through with her friends. If she was six years old, old it would have been so much more ridiculous like how are you explaining the kidnapping of this six-year-old kid with like three other six-year-olds as a teenager it was already kind of weird as it is but it wasn't too odd for me but definitely if it was a six-year-old and then you have like these grown people like Eugenio Derbez who's with them as we saw in the previous on a spoiler it would have been pretty like odd of him following a six-year-old one well, parents tried to go and find this like ancient like inca civilization like hidden city i don't recall the name of it yeah i know that i'm not good with name they you know they're going off to go in and do a discovery so while they're going off and trying to find this ancient civilization they send dora uh to the states or to the, they just call it the city but it is just to the states or they're, they're of course la and to go meet up with her cousin Diego. Diego's family had actually moved out of the jungle 10 years prior. So we do start off the movie with them being six years old and the big like adventures that they have. But we do jump forward and then now we see them as a teenager. Again, I had no problems with it. I asked my sister. She had no problems with them. And again, she was a fan. I really just went to go see this movie just because of my little sister. Because this was her childhood. This is what she grew up with. And you know, her cartoon is now a live action. So let's go and check it out. So we do see a little bit of the aspect where Dora breaks that fourth wall just early on in the movie. We do see, you know, when they're in the dinner table and she sits down and I think she said something about, I know we're going to just say it's delicioso. I don't really remember what it was, but you know, she's like, oh, this is delicioso. Can you say delicioso? And she's like looking up into the distance and like the parents just kind of like look off to the side like, who the hell is she talking to? And it's just really funny when Dora's dad like ate some of it. <laughs> delicioso! Of course, Eugenio Derbez, I mean, he is freaking hilarious. He, I think, was the one that really had me cracking multiple times with a lot of things that would happen to him. Yeah. So the storyline is pretty, like, bizarre. But again, it is based off of, of a cartoon. So I really don't get where people are being so, like, critical upon the storyline on here. Because it's like, have you seen the cartoon? She's a six-year-old going on these unsupervised adventures and, um of course we also get boots in the movie um her trusty little sidekick and i actually really enjoyed boots he was really funny he did look very animated you know everybody obviously saw boots they knew who he was and they didn't seem to have a problem with him um also sniper snipey sniper now sniper was a little bit more really animated and again nobody really seemed to care much about how animated he really was and I, that one was one that i really didn't know you know it was a whole snipe snipey no swipey right snipey sn sniper it was really funny when sammy said why does that fox have a mask on like who's going to like be able to tell this fox away from the other foxes the only spoiler i am gonna give you just because it is my favorite see i think that's gonna be kind of like my thing like i'm not really gonna spoil the uh, whole movie i'm just really gonna give like maybe my favorite scene they come upon these like huge like flowers and of course they don't know what's going on with them dora's all like okay don't touch anything and obviously when she said that i immediately went well is gonna be the one that's going to end up touching something somehow or he's gonna like sneeze and he's gonna go back and maybe push diego into the flower ultimately i was like it's gonna be Alejandro's fault. Uh, but yeah, it was him. He's the one that actually woke up 
the uh, flowers and they gave out like this like this purple like mystical dust all of them of course alejandro was like freaking outdoors like don't worry like if that was like a, a deadly like mist we would have been like dead by now uh but what it ended up being was kind of like this really trippy hallucinant they brought them to their cartoon version so we got to see the original cartoons into uh this live action movie <laughs> it was really funny alejandro's character just really like freaked out got naked i mean his cartoon version got naked it was hilarious and i absolutely loved that scene so that's the only spoiler that i'm going to give so of course for my og subscribers welcome her back to Lee. and for my new people this is desiree hi all right so i was just letting them know how you are a dora the explorer <laughs> fan <laughs> when i was little well still, well, still but but yeah, I but like you watched know. it more when I was little. I don't watch it now. Mm -hmm. So, were you happy with what they did with your childhood cartoon? I actually was. Well, she still talks to the camera. You know how that was kind of weird, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think about like Swipey? Because I think he was kind of weird. But like, he's like the only one that I thought like I like Boo. Yeah, Swiper. Swipey. Swipey. No Swipey. Swiper. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> I said it wrong, you guys. I told you, I don't know, I don't know this. He's the only one, like Boots, I was okay with. You know, I thought he was cool. You know, he was an animated character, but he yeah. wasn't as animated as Swipey? Swiper. Swiper. He wasn't as animated as Swiper. So did you find him, like, weird? Or were you, like, okay, like, with well, when it comes to, like, uh, boots and swiper. <laughs> were you fine with them or did you? I actually was fine with them. Like, like how swiper was shown a lot, but it was still good because he was still a bad guy, of course. And that's kind of how he comes out in the cartoons too, like randomly. He, yeah, he randomly comes out, tries to steal something. You of course, Dora has you say. Swiper no swiping, swiper no swiping, <laughs> and then somehow that makes him stop taking it, and he just like uh, drops it and says, "Oh man, did he say it? I don't, I don't think he said he it, didn't right? Say it. Yeah, I mean, because he would just actually take because off with the stuff. How do you feel with you know Dora being a teenager and not have stayed at six years old, like? Because a lot of people are upset that really? yeah, I was telling them that I'm like, if, if the story wouldn't really make sense. It would be like kind of ridiculous and like out there if the six-year-old was doing what the teenager was yeah. doing i'm i'm actually glad because during the whole cartoon she's just that little girl and then finally they make her a teenager it's actually glad i'm actually happy to see her actually what she'll be when she's like older older yeah she's not like stuck in like yeah. child like peter Pan. yeah she's not, she's not like in peter Pan mode. Yeah. Oh, are you sad that diego and like dora's relationship like kind of separated or are you okay i mean were they like really close in the in the well, show there was certain episodes well he'll come up oh so he wasn't in the whole thing yeah he wasn't in the whole thing i'm actually happy of how they did it like it's like a real world situation that would actually happen. Yeah. One will move away and be awkward when you come back together. Yeah. Yeah, because they were really awkward yeah. and funny. All right. So, would you recommend this? Yes. If me being a Dora fan and all that, I would recommend this movie. I would definitely watch it again. Yeah, I would w watch it again too. It was awesome. <laughs> it was, I told you how much I, we were like laughing a lot, and I think yes. I had this little tear coming out. But yeah, laughter yeah, laughter tears. Yeah, there were joyous <laughs> laughter tears. It was really, it was really fun. All right, well, thank you so much for doing my little guest appearance. Yes. All right, so as you can see, I'm not lying to you. Got it from a previous fan of Dora. I mean, deep down, you know, she has still has a part of dora in her heart just like we all do for all our cartoons like i still have a soft spot for like arthur and like recess and of course i did not like pressure her into like saying anything because trust me if i was trying to get her to read something you would be she would be like um and like you could actually tell that it's a lie so this was like truth from an actual fan all right so as much as i really really want to talk about this film because i absolutely loved this movie but i really do not want to give you guys 
any kind of spoilers because I really want you guys to go in there and enjoy this film. So obviously, yes, I am recommending this movie for you to go and see. I do think it is worth your money. I would definitely go and rewatch it again at the theaters. So we're going to have three movies come out this week, which is... Uh, this movie, The Kitchen, and The Art of Racing in the Rain. I haven't seen The Kitchen yet. I'm going to see that tomorrow. Well, actually, by the time I have this review up, I would have watched it on Tuesday. So from this one and The Art of Racing in the Rain, I full-on recommend Dora the Explorer. Oh, another thing. Um, it's not really like a spoiler. So Sammy's character, she had to like poo. You know, like obviously she wasn't trying to say it, but Dora's like, I know what you need. You got to poo. She goes, digs his hole, and is like singing. And she's just like there, like pooing in the hole. And then they get attacked, and they're trying to take off. And I'm unsure if she, I mean, she was very happy when she was there. So I'm assuming that, especially since she was like clinching. So you you know that she, she, she went. So she had to get up very quickly. And I'm just like, this girl didn't clean her butt. And then like once they were getting to other places you know obviously she was the only because you know it's in movies nobody ever pees or pooing she literally said it's been two days of course i have to poo she got up they took off running and when they finally stopped somewhere she never was like okay well i need to go and like clean myself so the whole movie like i was just like okay her ass is still full of shit so with that said don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you at concessions bye